Hi guys, this is Fernando. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create uh, a curtain, a translucency curtain using two side material. Um, I made this small interior here. I download the curtain from the 3D warehouse. So uh, the idea is to add the translucency to the uh, curtains. I want to create a render to see what I have right now as my default material. And then we are going to uh, create the two side material for my curtain. There you go. The, sorry. This is the final render. So you can see I have a nice illumination, but my curtain, because it's not translucency, is blocking my natural light or my or my sun light. So the idea is to create a, a two side material to get some translucency in the curtain and also get more natural light or my sunlight in my scene. So let's just see what is the what the two side material really does. Right click, create a new material. We have a lot of com a lot of com composition here because the uh, we have a another material with a similar name. Uh, the first material is a, a Sketcher two side material. This is not the one that we are going to use. Um, this material here do not produce, uh, doesn't produce translucency effect. But this two side material is the one that we want to use to create a, a translucency effect. So uh, let's create a two side material. As you can see, this material have two additional sub materials inside the inside the two side material so we are going to make make a test very quick here i want to use a blue material in my front and a red material in my back so if i create a preview you can see that in the preview we are seeing the front material the color by default is black this option here the color define the blending between the front and the back material. So if we change this, this color to white, and if we make a preview, you are going to see the red material now. If we have some, something between um, white and black, we are going to see a kind of blending, a blend between the front and the back material. If we enable the first one side material, these options um, allows us to create the translucency effects. If we don't have these options enabled, we are not going to have any translucency. So, as soon as you enable the first one uh, side material, we are going to see kind of translucency, especially in the, in the tiny, uh, in the very thin object. So, saying that, we are going to create the two side material. For our contain. So let me rename the material here and let's say light. I want to create two material. So light green and two side. Sorry for the add instead of the two. And also, I want to duplicate this material. And I want to rename this material as my dark green to side. The reason is because we I, we have two different type of material in our coating, so we have a dark and a light one. So I want to create uh, two two side material for those. Um, geometry. So in this case, I want to replace the red color, the blue color, by light green, and also the back color. I'm going to use the light green. Okay, and we are going to have a light green translucency material. In the this is okay. Oh, sorry, this is the dark. So let me change the material for the dark dark and dark 
also we're going to do the same thing on our light green and light green. I want that, that my dark material to be uh, less translucency than my light material so I want to make this material darker so 50 because I don't want too much translucency in my dark material so my, my dark green material so I want to apply the material to my curtain so let me select those material, those object and I want to apply the dark to side material this one here we go then I want to select light in material or object and apply my light green to side material the next step is to create my render this is a very easy to use material it's not too complicated but the effect is really amazing Here we go, this is a uh, result. So you can see the translucency effect in the white or in the light green curtain. Also, we have a small translucency effect in the green one. But remember, my color of the translucency effect is, is kind of black. So if you want more effects in the green one, the only thing that you have to do is uh, add more, change the color a little bit lighter. But um, but this is the, the idea to have a translucency effect. If you want a better result, you should add some transparency on the light green material. For example, this guy here is the base material for the light coating. So you can add some trans transparency. Let's set 100. And in this way, you are going to have a transparency material for the coating. And in the translucency effect, you're going to have more transparency even with the translucency uh, effect. And this is going to produce a really, really amazing effect. And also you are going to be able to see the sun uh, casting shadows on the floor. So I'm going to make another render with the translucency, with the transparency on the light green. And this is the last part of the, of the tutorial. Remember? To side material for the curtain, the color here in the light green, the color define the blending between the front and the back uh, material. If the color is closer to white, you are going to see the the back material. To you are going to see more translucency effect. Uh, you have to force one side material to be the translucency. This option is very important. Uh, that's it, it's pretty easy. So let's create the final render and we're done with this video tutorial. Hi okay, guys, this is the final result. So you can see here my curtain now is translucency and transparency. I can see the background. Also, I can see the sun coming from the outside to inside. The inside of my room. Um, so this is the effect that you could get when you add transparency. Let me show you two different um, view of this render. You can see here we don't have any transparency at all in the in the base material. We only have translucency. But as soon as you add transparency on the diffuse layer, you are going to see the sun coming inside the room. And also you you could see the background without transparency, just the translucency and with a, a little bit of transparency on the diffuse layer you could get this kind of effect. So guys this is all that I have for you today. So see you next time. Bye bye.